It just tastes like water. The watermelon was nice. The mango is nice too. Um, I'll just be talking about a couple of things that have been on my mind. In my mind. In your mind. And um, just things that have been in, especially brought to the front, especially because we started a new year. Um, okay, I'm just going to be eating my water while I give you this advice because I think it's very necessary that we hydrate. <laughs> that one will never be out of style, never be out of fashion, never, never date. Oh, that's <laughs> on. Um, anyway, so moving on to my advice ha. in this session today. Yes, class, stop caring what people think about you. Stop it. Leave that in 2020. 20. <laughs> Leave that in 2020. Zero. Leave that in 2020. Stop caring what people think about you. Obviously, caring what people think about you has um, beneficial properties. I mean, there are reasons why we care about what people think about us so that we can live and function in rapport in a society and so that we can live in harmony and so that we can get social feedback. Um, to know exactly how to navigate ourselves in this world that's just full of different personalities just so that we can live together in peace obviously I'm not saying do your own thing go and shoot everybody I'm not saying that please I'm saying don't obsess over what people think about you especially if it's ex at the expense of your peace it's not worth it uh, I think given the circumstances that we're in with the pandemic and everything we already have stress around us surrounding us virus germs and i don't think it's productive or constructive to be adding more to your stress by just obsessing over what people think about you you used to be so obsessed with pleasing people like it was toxic like too much of anything good is not good anyway so yeah um and then treat yourself the way that you want to be treated i think it's important to stop Stop with negative self-talk. Stop with self-pity. Hey, you know some of us, hey. It's almost as if you're setting the tone for how people must treat you and also your worth. How you value yourself will determine how people will treat you because they can see you don't value yourself highly and they'll, they'll take advantage of that. Maybe it will not be deliberately. Maybe it will be subconsciously. But if you're a person that's a pushover, chances are you'll be pushed over. <laughs> people just want to take you for a ride. They want to get into the car, switch on the engine and, and, and rev that engine, you know? So, yeah. I think that you should treat yourself as an other. This is one thing my sister told me that I didn't realize. And when she mentioned it, I was like, actually, that, that is actually very smart. When you treat yourself as an other, and I don't mean this in the way it's negatively connotated. I mean, you know the verse, um, Leviticus, you know the verse, Leviticus 19 verse 18 that says, do unto others what you like them to do unto you. That's what I am alluding to. Generally, we tend to treat other people better than we treat ourselves. It's very easy for us to give other people compliments. It's very easy for us to be kind to other people. It's very easy for us to think about, shame, how will saying this or wearing this or eating this affect the other person, you know? We tend to give other people great advice, for example, wonderful advice. But when it comes to ourselves, we do the opposite thing. For example, for me, I tend to treat other people way better than I treat myself and I didn't realize that until one day my sister was like you're too kind to others you're really too kind and it's usually at the expense of your peace which obviously means that you're valuing somebody else's happiness over yours and that's a problem especially if it's chronic and you do it over and over again to the point that you are depressed but it's okay as long as the other person is happy it's fine that's a problem take care of yourself be yourself's best friend is what I'm trying to say so yeah one last advice that I want to carry with me and that I want to pass on to you is also that you should stop fixating, ruminating, obsessing over things that are not in your control, that have already passed and you can't fix, and things that don't bring you peace. You know, it's one thing to stress over something because it's natural to stress, it's a natural um, reaction to situations around us, survival value. You know, it, it, kept, it helps us. It helps us to be able to function. It's important to be able to stress. Fine, but to overstress is something else. You know, worrying helps us to think, to think, to second guess things, and to help us to reason and to help us to make good decisions. That's good. But to obsess, to ruminate, to sit there in bed instead of sleeping, you're thinking, "Ish." But if I only I had turned left, it doesn't help you. You know, especially when it's something that is really not in your control. It, having stress won't change the situation. 
stressing over it won't, won't do anything but give you more stress and just give you problems and give you headache and give you dry lips and stop stressing just breathe rest but to rest 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 before to rest 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 breathe you know remind yourself to breathe in and let go let god let go and let god and that's my advice that i want to give to you going into 2021 i know that especially after cyril released the new restriction that you even can be incarcerated if you don't have a mask it seems like things are even more out of control we don't even know how we got here i mean we know how we got here it's those trolls it's i'm a piano but it's fine i think that if we try and focus on on these few little things it's about the small things you try and focus on these few little things it will make the larger difference it will make a, a, a bigger difference in your life and yeah uh one more thing that i'm just gonna throw as a bonus because i've been doing it and i've been seeing changes in my life and i think it can help you as well is to meditate i meditate every morning and sometimes at night if i can't sleep i tend to, I'm, I'm naturally a person that likes i don't like to when i say likes to i tend to stress a lot over things and i found that meditating and setting my day right really helps i meditate every morning um and i repeat this verse today is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it and that really helps you know that even if the day is not the greatest day i am already waiting anticipation for the smallest things that even if the, the rest of the day was nonsense because of that small thing that happened and because i was waiting for it and i'm receptive of the good things good things did happen and i was able to accept them you know so yeah i hope that you have a wonderful 2021 i hope that you have peace I hope that you put your happiness first. I hope that you take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It matters. You matter. Um, because only when you're okay can then you be okay for others. It doesn't work the other way around. You know? You can't give somebody something that you don't have. Especially if you don't have it for yourself. When you love yourself 100%, it's easier for, somebody, uh, for you to notice when somebody is loving you with lack. So, let me say that again. When you, love, when you love yourself highly, regard yourself highly, you love yourself 100%, then the next person that loves you will have to give you 110% in order for you to then accept their love and to realize their love. Do you understand? When you love yourself 20% and somebody comes with 50% any, or even 21%, you'll think, wow. And you're selling yourself short. You know, you're worth so much more than you give yourself credit for. 